What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I got really excited reading this article, and the article is Things That Millionaires Do That You Don't. So it's something that really got me excited because you have a bunch of things that, you know, some millionaires do, and I know some people make this list and they just fluff a lot of their, their things. So I narrowed it down. There were, I believe, 20 things. Um, I narrowed it down to 10. Uh, because some of the things just really overlapped with some of the other ones. So I narrowed it down to 10 and we'll get into that in just a couple seconds. Now, I am doing a giveaway. I want to make sure that you remember this, that I'm doing a giveaway every single week on every Friday. So um, all you have to do to enter that giveaway is comment on every video for this week, as many as you can, like as many um, videos as you can, and also be subscribed to my channel to be entered in that giveaway. So I'm going to be announcing the winner on the community tab. So go ahead and do all that stuff and uh, make sure you stay engaged. So I wanted to talk about this because it's very interesting because I know people that always wonder why people have money um, and they don't have money because they basically are the same person, um, but they're not. They do things behind the scenes that you wouldn't normally do that you don't actually catch. And it's kind of interesting because I see it with a lot of uh, friends that I know have more money and um, they find a way to keep their money. They do something that you don't and it's all of these things. Now, I told you I narrowed it down to 10, so hopefully this video doesn't take long um, because every time I give a list like this, it goes like 20 minutes, but I'm hoping not because I actually don't have much time left on my camera recording too much. So the first thing that millionaires do that you don't um, is that they're frugal. I mean, if if you find a way to not spend money, you're going to be able to save more money. And if you can save more money, then you eventually have more money. Um, so all of these people that you go out with and you find um, that you're going out to restaurants and you know eating and all this stuff, notice what they're doing. They're not going to buy. They're not going to buy a Pepsi. They're not going to buy a beer. They're going to get a water. They're going to find ways to save money, and you're not even going to be able to notice it. That's the thing that they do. They save money without you noticing it. They still look rich and they still look like they're having a good time while saving money. And this is the smart thing to do. Next time you go to McDonald's, um, try ordering the sandwich without getting any type of meal. Just get the sandwich and just don't get a drink. Or if you go anywhere else, just get a sandwich and don't get a drink. You're going to find that you're saving a lot more money by saving the $2, $3, however much the drink actually costs. And that's one way of being frugal. Um, and I know a lot of people who do it and they don't do it because they want to be healthy. They do it because they want to save money. And I mean, if you have 10 times where you're saving a dollar, you're saving $10. Just imagine if that's $3, you're saving $30. So it, it's the way to do it. The next thing is very simple and they keep their housing costs low. So they don't change house to house. They don't buy expensive houses that they can't afford. Um, they make sure that they have a decent down payment so that they don't have to pay a huge monthly payment and they can save more money per month. Um, that's just the way that rich people do it, that millionaires do it. It's just it's just simple. Now, you do have millionaires that aren't self-made millionaires, and that's something to where they spend all their money, and those aren't the millionaires that I'm talking about. I'm talking about millionaires that are self-made, that save their money, that do as much as possible. So another thing that they do, the third thing that they do is they save a lot of their money. And this is one of the smartest things to do. You take your income and you save a certain portion. There's people out there that save 99% of their income because they have like real estate that's paying their mortgage or, or something like that. I mean, I try and save about 40% of my income and I would say that that's not enough. Um, I would like to save more, but then again, I like to also spend as well. So I'm not as frugal as as millionaires, I'm not as frugal as some people, so I, I hope to get to that point. So I try and save as much of my income, but a lot of millionaires save all of their income. They, they take their income and they put it away and they have their money work for them. So anything that they're making, they have their money work for them and they use the money that they made on their gains to you know spend the money where they want to spend it. Um, so this is a smart thing that a lot of millionaires do, and this is something that I thought was very interesting because I see me saving my income, but I feel like I don't save enough. Another thing, number four, is something that I kind of thought, what? Um, they don't budget. And I'm just like, how is that possible? Um, so when people have a lot of money, 
Um, they know exactly where they're going to spend their money from. Millionaires, they're frugal. They save a lot of their income. They know exactly where all their money is going. So do they create a physical spreadsheet? No, they don't do it. But do they have a mental budget? Yes, they do. They know exactly how much they want to spend and they know how much they spend during the week or during the month on um, groceries or whatever. And then they're finding a way to do a mental budget. Do they do it on a spreadsheet? No, they don't. So this is something that I was concerned about, but when I read into it, I really understood what they actually meant. So they don't really have a physical budget. Do they do it every day like a normal people should? No. Um, so that's that's something that's very interesting. And number five is they take on a side hustle. A lot of millionaires have like seven sources of income um, and that's just the way you wanna do it. You wanna have multiple sources of income, not just one. You don't wanna rely on one source because then what if you get fired or what if something happens? Um, you don't wanna rely on one source. You wanna have a backup plan. Find a way to make your money work for you. Find dividends that you can you know, gather and be able to collect and have some sort of income or dividends that go into your account every single month. So. That's just one way Then you can have affiliate marketing. You can have YouTube. This is what I do. Um, you have to have like some sort of extra income source because anything could happen. And that's what millionaires do. They have seven sources of income that bring in money every single month and they find ways to save that. Another thing that they do, number six, is that they invest in real estate. Um, this is smart and a lot of people do it because whatever their normal income is, they could find a way to um, own a house, rent it out, and then take that income, put it towards that mortgage, or if you don't have that mortgage, put it towards whatever taxes you have, and then also put it towards your own expenses. And that's how a lot of rich people save 99% of their income, 90% of their income or so. And this is something that I really wanted to get into was real estate. And that's something that I want to start um, later down the line, not now, but later down the line, once I really get comfortable with everything. Right now I have my whole MBA program going and then YouTube and then all of these other different types of things. So I want to gain some structure and find some balance, a happy medium there. And then I'll start to get into real estate uh, because I do want to own properties and find a way to... Um, you know, pay my expenses with other sources of income. Number seven is something that I hear all the time and something that I actually do is invest in low cost index funds. A lot of people talk about Vanguard index funds and that's really what you should be doing. You should be investing your money in index funds. As a as a teenager, that's one thing that you should be doing. At once you're 18, um, once you're old enough, really just, you know, invest your money, put your money aside, find a way to save 50% of your income, put it into an index fund. By the time you're like 40 or 50 or 60, you're going to have a ton of money with compound interest. And that's just the way you have to do it. It's making your money work for you. Another thing they do is they put energy towards personal growth activities. And that's something that really just develops yourself, like educational um, content on YouTube. Keep watching. Also reading a book that just helps you out and it's personal activities that improve yourself. Um, that's just a no brainer. Do that and you're going to find a lot of success. And I understand that takes a lot of time, but it will help you out in the end. Another thing that they do, number nine, is that they sleep less and work more. Now, I've heard this from like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk um, talking about work as hard as you can when you're young um, and just try and sleep less and work more. Um, just really try and hustle. And that's a smart thing to do. I try and do it. A lot of times I can't. I try and go to sleep a little bit early and then wake up at like 4.30 and start researching stocks and all that stuff. I haven't been doing that lately, um, but this is what I've been trying to do. You see that I'm posting five videos a week. I'm working more, um, sleeping less. So that's something that I like to do, but this is something that will get you ahead. And the 10th thing that they do is that they don't follow a crowd. This is 100% accurate. You don't follow the leader there. You make people follow you, but you don't follow the leader. There's a bunch of people on YouTube that create their own stuff and don't really follow the leader. Um, and that's what you want to do. You want to find your own content, find your own voice, and it will help you out in the end. So these are the things that people do, that millionaires do, that you don't. And it's 100% accurate. And I thought this was very interesting to see because you know, people aren't frugal. Um, people don't keep their house costs low. And I just wanted to make sure that, you know, everybody knows that millionaires are doing things that you're not and it'll help you out. It truly will if you start doing these things.
So hopefully you like this list. Um, it took me a while to put together, so smash the like button. That helps me out a lot. Seriously, it does. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already. And remember that I'm doing a giveaway every single week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment down below, comment on every video that you can, and also like every video that you can. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.